Hello YouTube. I'm back out in the workshop again. It's the next day. Three days in a row. That's amazing. But yes, I am on my Samsung Galaxy 5 cell phone right now. So hopefully this will turn out. There's my T-Max. A little dusty. Yep. We got my makeshift table right here. Got the brushes out. I got the stain. I got the stain all out and working pretty good. And now I'm on the clear coat of the polyurethane. So we're going to slowly come over here. As you can see the brush right there of the clear coat. And now you're ready for this. This turned out amazing. I just wish it would stay glossy like this. But it will not. It will dry. And then I'll have to sand it by hand. Start all over again with the uh, polyurethane. Okay. I did a lot of putty work too. I did a shitload more of sanding. I thought I was done last night, but no. I had to do some more, but there she is. Dun, 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 dun. Look at that gloss. Looky there. This thing is turning out fantastic. I stained it all and I put one good clear coat on it to seal it and it needs to dry. And if you notice down in here you see some white. That's the glue that I try to sand and it's impossible and stain will not stick to that. Which is fine with me because you won't see it anyways when the truck is on. So we're going to go here, and I had to do some more sanding right here, and through here. Oh, it turned out nice. My dad would be proud of all the angles and the roundness, because he always had problems with that. And then, and then you can see the five holes I drilled. I drilled small holes, then I countersunk with a bigger drill bit so the head can go down in. So there's five holes there if needed. That's how I'm going to mount it to the door. And I did a lot more rounding here as you can tell. Boy that turned out nice. Yep. You could just see that baby shine. But yes, I'm out of here. It's a beautiful day. In northern Pennsylvania. So I figured, what the heck. Might as well get the uh, propane wall heater going. And now it's running like a champ. With the same tank. <laughs> And without the heat, extra heat, heating up the fuel tank, feeding that, which is very, very odd. It's working great. I was going to tear this apart and clean out everything. Had all intentions, but it works fine. I just don't understand why some days it works and sometimes it don't. But back to this here. Yeah, I gotta let this dry overnight. Figure get this garage pretty well stoked up at 60 degrees in this garage. And this the stain and the polyurethane loves, you know, a little warmer than that. And that's why I have the fan blowing inside that, blowing the heat towards this here. 
But yeah, she turned out wonderful. Man, it's nice. I love the gloss look. I got semi-gloss polyurethane. I should have got gloss instead of semi-gloss. But when you put another coat on it, it turns out really nice. But there she is, guys. She's drying up pretty soon. I'll put another coat on it, which will be tomorrow. First, I have to lightly sand it, then put another coat on, and then we're good to go. All right, guys, I just want to give you an update on this beautiful holder. I can't wait to get it up on the door and uh, put the truck on it. All right, well, thanks for watching. I hope this was entertaining. And I hope that, you know, this gives you guys a lot of ideas about how to store your RCs. Like I said, you just custom make to the RC, and it works for me. Alright guys, thanks for watching, and I'll be talking to you.